The Tesla Powerwall 2. It's one of the most popular home energy storage solutions in the world today. However, Tesla's been raising their prices and some customers have been plagued by long supply delays with some homeowners having to wait six, eight months or even 12 months to have their battery installed. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at the top three Tesla Powerwall alternatives for 2023 and which one might be the best choice for your solar project. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and for the past 10 years I've been helping families achieve energy independence using clean renewable energy. Now if you're new to the Solar Surge channel, on Solar Surge you're going to find expert reviews on solar panels, batteries, inverters, pretty much any technology that makes up a home renewable energy system. You know sometimes we even cover generator backup systems as well if you're looking to tie that into your home solar plus storage system. Now, in today's video, we're going to be looking at the top three Tesla Powerwall alternatives for 2023. And part of the reason for that is that although we have been selling Tesla Powerwalls pretty much as, as long as they've been available, uh, at times our relationship with Tesla has had its ups and downs. And at certain points when supply gets really, really tight, We've seen times where certain homeowners have had to wait six to 12 months to have their batteries installed. And more recently, what we're seeing is that although the supply has, has returned, um, the pricing now on the Tesla Powerwalls is much, much higher than where it was three or four years ago. You know, Tesla Powerwall used to be the least expensive home backup battery to install. Now it's actually one of the most expensive options that we have available. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at the top three Tesla Powerwall alternatives for 2023. And with that, let's go to number three. Just a word from our sponsor, Span.io and the Span Smart Electrical Panel. If you're considering an investment in a solar plus battery backup system for your home, then you're going to want to have maximum visibility and control of how much solar energy you're collecting, how much energy you're storing, and where that energy is being spent within your home. The SPAN Smart Electrical Panel allows you to dynamically control which circuits have access to backup power and which ones do not without the need of a separate critical loads panel and get up to 40% more running time on your battery backup. So feel free to go directly to the span.io website or you can just visit the link on the description below. It'll take you to the page, you can get more information or if you'd like to, get in touch with an installer right away. All right, coming in at number three on the list is the SolarEdge home battery system. Now, SolarEdge rolled out and you probably saw our previous video about the SolarEdge home smart energy ecosystem, which is SolarEdge's attempt as many of the other manufacturers are doing, to bring the entire home renewable energy system uh, under one canopy, if you will, under the Solar Edge brand. And so the Solar Edge system consists of the Solar Edge Home Hub Inverter, which does your DC to AC inversion, uh, the Solar Edge DC optimizers on each solar panel as well, the Solar Edge monitoring solution, so you can track each individual panel on your app. But now it also includes the Solar Edge home battery, which we'll talk about in more detail here just in a moment, uh, as well as the Solar Edge backup interface, which is an optional component for whole house backup, and the Solar Edge load control solution, which allows you to, uh, to do a whole house backup, but a more of a managed whole house backup where individual circuits can be intelligently controlled so you're not draining your battery too fast, trying to run too many things on backup power at the same time. Now, again, this is a trend that we're seeing across all the top brands, is the attempt to sort of bring everything under one brand, everything under one canopy, and typically it's the inverter manufacturer around which everything else rallies. So now you see SolarEdge has their own battery, Enphase has their own battery, Tesla Powerwall has their own battery, of course, and, uh, and introducing all those other components that it takes to make a whole home uh, solar in storage system. Now, with the SolarEdge battery, the Solar Edge uses a DC coupled battery. And it does appear that Solar Edge is all in on the DC coupled architecture. Uh, you may have seen our previous video with Solar Edge General Manager Peter Matthews, 
where he explained that the advantage of a DC coupled solar plus storage architecture is that when you have excess solar available, instead of having to invert all of it to turn it into AC power for grid sellback, you can actually choose to do more with that energy on the DC side of the system. And so in the case of Solar Edge, you could send some of the excess DC to an electric vehicle charger, you could send some to a uh, Solar Edge water heater, um, or you could send, send some into your Solar Edge home battery. And what that would allow you to do is maximize self-consumption of your solar. So instead of inverting it and selling it back to the grid, you could just store your excess in a home battery. And then during evening hours, when the solar is not producing as much, you can draw from the energy that is stored in the battery. So this is especially important for you folks that may be losing the one for one net metering credit in California soon. Having a home battery where you can store your excess solar as opposed to having to dump it to the grid at a severely discounted rate allow you to, to be more self-sufficient, maintain more self-consumption, and ulti ultimately get a better dollar for dollar payback for your solar plus storage investment. Now, the Solar Edge home battery is a 10 kilowatt hour battery in terms of energy storage, and each battery can provide 5,000 watts continuous power with surge power up to 7,500 watts. So this is not what I would call a whole house battery backup solution. Uh, a single battery system is gonna be for what we call critical loads backup only. However, with a multi-inverter system with multiple batteries and using the Solar Edge backup interface, this could be used as a whole home battery backup solution. The reason why we include Solar Edge on the list here is because there is definitely a convenience factor to having a battery that is, again, all under one brand with your inverter manufacturer. So you know there's not gonna be any issues with interoperability or communications between the inverter and the battery. Uh, and of course, you can track everything on a single app. So the Solar Edge home monitoring app, you can use to track not only your solar, but your battery storage system as well. In terms of pricing, the Solar Edge home battery is actually one of the most cost competitive battery solutions available. Uh, and of course, if your installer is a Solar Edge installer and they're already familiar with that brand and the equipment and the technical support process, this could be a great choice for your home Solar Plus storage system. All right, coming in at number two on the list is the Enphase IQ Battery 10T. Now, the 10 here refers to 10 kilowatt hours of storage. And that's actually what we're seeing with a lot of the brands is that 10 kilowatt hour size is sort of the standard unit around which we can build. And then of course, if you wish to expand your capacity, you could install you know, two or three batteries for 20 or 30 kilowatt hours respectively. So the Enphase IQ Battery 10T, as the name implies, it is a 10 kilowatt hour storage solution. Now the Enphase battery is designed specifically to work with the Enphase IQ microinverter system. So again, the trend here is we're seeing convergence around the inverter manufacturer um, with other solutions and other components to make a whole home solar plus storage system. So in the case of Enphase, that includes the Enphase microinverters, of course, the Enphase IQ batteries, uh, as well as the Enphase IQ system controller, which is your, your whole home transfer switch, the Enphase IQ load controller, uh, and of course, the recently announced Enphase bi-directional vehicle charger. And so the really cool thing about the Enphase system is that you can actually mix Enphase storage batteries, which are dedicated home storage batteries, stationary batteries, um, and a bi-directional EV charger. So if you do have an electric vehicle or if you're planning on owning an electric vehicle in the future, you can not only charge your electric vehicle from your home solar system, but you can also use your, your energy stored in your electric vehicle battery as an auxiliary power source for your home renewable energy system. And so I think that's a very, very exciting capability here. Now, in terms of specs on the battery, uh, each Enphase IQ10 battery can support a continuous load of 3.8 kilowatts with surge power up to 5.7 kilowatts. So similar to Solar Edge, a single battery solution is going to be a critical loads backup only. This is not a whole house backup with a single battery. Um, however, you can connect multiple batteries together in parallel to achieve a whole house backup. 
And so again, the nice thing about having an AC coupled battery, and I should note here, Enphase is an AC coupled battery, not a DC coupled like the Solar Edge. But the nice thing about the AC coupled battery is every time you increase the quantity of batteries, not only are you increasing the storage capacity, but you're also increasing the power rating proportionally as well. So although it might be only 3.8 kilowatts per battery, if you add two batteries, now that brings you what, 7.6 kilowatts, 7.68 kilowatts, you add a third or a fourth battery, and now you're talking about significant power output for a whole house backup solution. And of course, you know, you're increasing your storage capacity as well. Now in terms of chemistry, Enphase uses the newer, safer, more durable lithium iron phosphate chemistry. Uh, what that means is that the battery is not subject to thermal runaway the way that some of the older lithium chemistries are where, the, where in some cases the cells can overheat and catch on fire. You know, the lithium uh, iron phosphate chemistry, it runs cool and it's 100% safe for indoor use. Now, the flip side of that though is that it is a, a bulkier, heavier battery. So lithium iron phosphate right now is mainly being used for stationary battery applications like a home battery that's just going to hang on your wall. You don't really have to move it once it's set in place. Um, on the other hand, Tesla and Generac and SolarEdge are still using lithium NMC chemistry, which is really more designed for electric vehicles where you do need the lighter weight and the more density because you're going to be driving that battery around with you in your electric vehicle. So Enphase is using the iron phosphate chemistry here. As we said, it is parallel stackable, so you can increase power and capacity as you add more battery units. Um, and of course, it is part of the Enphase IQ system. So everything here can be tracked on the single Enphase Enlighten app. You can look at solar production, you can look at battery status, you can look at home consumption. Um, and with the Enphase IQ system controller, you can even optionally add your bi-directional electric vehicle and track that. And they give you a generator hookup option as well and you can track that. And so again, guys, if, you're, if what you're doing is, is preparing for a long-term loss of the electric grid, or if you're preparing to be totally off the grid, then I always recommend having that generator backup option as a third level backup. So if you hit a patch of bad weather and the solar can't keep up with keeping your battery recharged, then you just fire up the generator for a couple hours, bring the batteries back full, and then you can go a couple hours running off battery power again. So this is the Enphase IQ battery system. All right, and coming in at number one is the Franklin Whole Home battery system. There's a number of things that I like about the Franklin battery, but I think if I had to choose one Tesla Powerwall alternative that would give you just about every single feature and even some extra features as well without really having to compromise on power or capacity, the Franklin Whole Home is going to be the solution here. Now, just a reminder on the specs, each Franklin battery can support a continuous load of 5,000 watts with surge power up to 10,000 watts for 10 seconds. Now that's a single battery, 10,000 watts for 10 seconds, which is enough to back up a four ton air conditioning unit even without having to install a dedicated soft start for the air conditioning circuit. Now, for most of my clients, if you want a truly robust whole house backup where you can run the whole house both day and night, then I'm gonna recommend at least two of the Franklin whole home batteries, or ideally, if, if your budget allows, go with three batteries. And that way you have up to 30,000 watts surge power for 10 seconds, which means you could handle multiple air conditioning units firing on at the same time, while also powering your water heater and your clothes dryer without having to worry about turning any of those things off. Now, the other nice thing about Franklin, which is unique compared to the other two batteries we talked about earlier, is that the Franklin battery is truly interoperable. And that's one of the biggest advantages of the Tesla Powerwall is that you can hook it up to just about any solar system that's out there, any grid-tied solar, whether you have Enphase, Solar Edge, or maybe you have one of the older string inverters like SMA or Fronius, doesn't really matter. The Tesla Powerwall is a, a, an inverter agnostic AC coupled battery, and so is the Franklin. You can use it for a brand new installation paired with either Solar Edge or Enphase or any of your other leading inverter brands, or it can be used to retrofit an existing grid-tied solar to add battery backup. And of course, being an AC coupled battery, all of that wiring happens at ground level. You don't actually have to rewire anything on the roof for your existing solar system. However, there's some things now that also Franklin offers that Tesla does not. 
The big one, of course, being the generator hookup option. So as I mentioned earlier, if you're preparing for a long-term loss of the electric grid or being completely off the grid, then you want to have a generator backup option to your solar and batteries so that if you hit a patch of bad weather, like we always do here in the wintertime, there's usually a couple of weeks a year where there's going to be overcast weather all week. Well, with the generator option, you fire your generator up for three or four hours, bring your batteries back full, and then you can go for running a couple of days off of battery power. So it prevents you from ever being totally without electricity, and it allows you to stretch your fuel supply a lot longer than if you had to use your generator as your only power source, where the fuel consumption and the cost and the storage of the fuel could be very problematic for you. Now, the other unique thing that comes with the Franklin system, and it's really part of what they call the A-gate here, which is their whole home transfer switch, uh, is the integrated smart load control. So Franklin actually decided that they would tackle the biggest challenge in terms of load control, which is controlling the two heaviest loads in the house, and they would integrate that right in with their power gateway, or what they call the A-gate, the, the whole home transfer switch. So instead of having to have a separate load control device, it's all built right in here to the A-gate. You get a single 80 amp smart circuit control and a single 50 amp smart circuit control. And so what's a very common configuration we see is hook up your air conditioning compressor and then hook up your home electric vehicle charger. And so if you end up in a position where you're running on backup power and you need to conserve energy so you don't drain the batteries too fast, the system can automatically power down your air conditioner or your EV charger based on whatever parameters you set and whatever order you set to preserve energy stored in your home battery. So folks, this has been a brief discussion of the top three Tesla Powerwall alternatives for 2023. Again, we're looking at the Solar Edge home battery. We're looking at the Enphase IQ battery system. And number one is the Franklin whole home battery system, which can be used right in place of a Tesla Powerwall too, with just about any solar installation or any solar design that you're working on. It's gonna give you the same storage capacity, actually a little bit more. Franklin will give you 13.6 compared to Tesla's 13.5. It'll give you that, that AC coupled inverter agnostic um, flexibility uh, to pair it with whatever other equipment you want. And then unlike Tesla, it's gonna give you the smart load control and the generator hookup as well. Well, folks, I hope you got some good information from today's video. Uh, as always, if you're in the process of looking at solar plus storage options for your home, uh, if you need to get a price quote for any of these batteries, or maybe if you already have a quote, you just want to get a comparison to make sure that you're getting the best deal or getting the proper equipment for your project, you know, as always, you can reach out to us on the link below there, set up a call with one of our experts here, and we'd be happy to talk through all the different options and the pricing with you. Uh, of course, if you're getting good value from the videos, be sure to give us a thumbs up and make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. So that way, as the new videos are published out, YouTube can show it to you on your feed or on your notification so you can stay up to date with us. Well, folks, I thank you for spending some more time with Solar Surge today. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.